This is the World of Sports Network presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. And we are continuing our 2020 scheduling prediction, right? And we are with Indianapolis Colts, so we're going to nap town. So let's get straight to it, man. The AFC South, obviously the Colts with Frank Wright and company, man. They got the new quarterback. Yes, my man Phillip Rivers bringing his talent to nap town. So let's go. First game is on the road against Jacksonville, against the mustache guy, man. I um, meant you. I expect the Colts to do what they do. They're going to be a power running team. They drafted JT, man. JT23, finna being sexy back to the RB position, man. So I expect a big game behind the best offensive line in football to just destroy the Jags, who I feel going to be the worst team in all of football. Week two, they play the they home opener versus the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, you all know this channel. You all know me. I love my man Kirk Cousin. Yes, that's my favorite cousin. But in this week, he's not going to be my favorite cousin. He's going to be the same old cousin. And they will take that L with the Colts getting that dub starting um, 2-0 in the Phillip Rivers era. Week three, they're taking the New York football jet to it right now. They just said, uh, uh, market, take that to the bank, W for the Colts. Week number four, going straight to Chicago. I don't know who's going to be the quarterback over there in week four for the Bears, so I'm giving the Colts a, take a W on that. So there it goes, the first four weeks right there. You expect, and I expect, the Indianapolis Colts to go four and oh baby now travel to week five versus the cleveland browns this is going to be a tough game man the cleveland browns are going to be a, a well organized well balanced team um as far as they got two running them they got the personnel group and i think that's going to give the Colts hell tremendous hell just personnel issues at, at its core so i expect the cleveland Browns to take that and the Colts to take the first l of the season in week five Week six, they take on the Cincinnati Bengals, man. Joe Burrows, the Bengal, the Tiger King himself, man. I expect Zach Taylor and the Bengals not to be very good this year, but they'll be very competitive, man, but not as far as the record-wise. So going into the bye, I expect the Colts to handle business and beat the Cincinnati Bengals. Bye week, coming out the bye, they play the Detroit Lions. Man, the schedule God gave the Colts hell, dog. I'm talking about they helped them out this like. Give it to them, 2020, dog. So they're gonna handle uh, Matt Patricia and and the Detroit Lions, man. I'm not even sure if he's gonna even be the coach there at that time. Week 10, I mean week nine. I'm sorry. That's when the Baltimore man, the big bully, come to town. I think the Baltimore Ravens is gonna straight, you know, pound the arm, the coach, man. Put them in their place, man. Put them in their place and show them and handle business, baby. The um, the coach will take an L against the Ravens. Week 10, short week, they travel to Nashville, man, to take on the Titans. In normal cases, the Colts own the Titans, but just coming out of that bashing and that physical bashing week prior from the Ravens, and then they got to go play against another physical team on a short week on the road. I expect the Tennessee Titans to beat the, um, the Colts for back-to-back for -back losses right now for the Indianapolis Colts. But you know what? You know, the good thing, the good and the bad about that Thursday night game, they get an extra week. So when Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers come to town in week 11, nap time will be up and rocking, baby. The Dome will be up and rocking against A-Rod. And I expect the Colts to handle business against the Green Bay Packers and getting that win. Week number 12, everything is going back to normal, baby. The world is back to normal because the Colts are going to beat the Tennessee Titans like they always do. Everything's back to normal. Week 12, the Colts are going to handle the Titans and they just like they're supposed to. Week 13, man, at Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans. You know what, bro? Just to all my respect to Deshaun, I'm going to give this, uh, this win to the Texans just because of um, Deshaun Watson in spite of Bill O'Brien. So the coach took an L on this one. But then week 14, they go to Sin City, man. They take on John Gruden and it might be Marcus Mariota at the quarterback position at that time. Whoever it is, man, Carl, Mariota, I don't give a damn who it is. The coach finna take that dub. The coach should win that game against the Las Vegas Raiders.
Week 15, Houston come to Naptown. Houston's going to take that L. Um, this time, there's no way Bill O'Brien's team is going to double up on, on, on Frank Wright. No way. Frank Wright is too good of a coach for that to happen, man. Look for the Colts to make that even split, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up like banana split on that in week 15. Even it out with the Houston Texans, man. Week 16, you can't do this, man. I don't like a dome team traveling in December, man, or uh, January. I don't like that. Late in the season, they're finna go to Pittsburgh. You know it's gonna be raining, windy. I don't like old ass Philip Rivers arm in that situation. Nah, 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 nah. This is a terrible situation right here, man. And I expect the Colts to really get blitzed, right? No pun intended. Actually, yes, pun intended. They will get blitzed and blitzed, bird. Week 17, guess what? Basically, they got the homecoming game versus the Jacksonville Jags, man. Uh, this is going to be a well, well, good game for the Colts. Come out there, pound the Jags, show them what they do, and get ready for the playoff, man. And with that said, the Colts will finish 10 and 6 and will win that division. Yes, the Colts will be 10 and 6 and win the AFC South. Y'all know the drill. Like this, love this, share this, and I am out.